Lifetime aired their Where is Wendy Williams documentary over the weekend. And in last night's episode, her son confirmed her diagnosis, saying doctors told him it was, quote, alcohol-induced dementia. The series also showed some of Wendy's drinking. Take a look. Did you drink this whole thing today? Yes. No. But, okay, let's just have a, a quick conversation about this. Don't you feel like maybe this is a bit excessive? I, I don't know if you need this right now. We have a lot Because we have a lot of business I'm not going drunk. on. I never said you was drunk. But I just don't know if this is a good idea. So you think you're perfectly fine having as many drinks as you want? Perfectly. There are also scenes where Wendy seems seriously confused, like in this one where she claims she was returning to TV. Take a look. September. What about September? I go back on TV. So now you're saying September is when you're going to be, like, going back, going back? That's yeah, according to... to my apartment. No, you're saying that you said the show. Well, the show works. Some fans online are upset by the documentary showing Wendy in such a quote unquote negative light with some calling the documentary exploitate, exploitative. What do you uh, all think? I know, Al, that you were writing us how, I don't want to speak for you. Tell us how you saw yeah, it. I, I put together a, a home entertainment center yesterday and I just had watched it a couple times each episode because I knew we would talk about it today. And it wasn't just as easy as, uh, you know, this was exploitative and this shouldn't be on. Uh, I thought about it from everybody's perspective because if you look at like the guy that was sitting on the bed with her saying, did you drink this? That was her manager. And so, you know, when you look at somebody like yeah. that, no. I, I, I've, I've listened to this person talk no. for two weeks now. I mean, for two episodes. I don't think that he is in her orbit just to sponge off of her. I think that he really does love her, Sammy, but the thing is that can be just as bad. If I, I love you, like you're my sister, and if you were on the air not doing well, people would say, how is Al letting her go on? But I would be like, I've seen Sam do thousands of shows, Jeff. She's got this. But either way, whether I'm trying to make exploit you for money or I believe in you, it's the same product coming out there. So she needs somebody around her to pull her back in and tell her this is not going to happen. But it doesn't seem like there's any family around her. It seems like her family's in Florida. Her sons are estranged from her. And so who's there, Jeff? Like when your family is far away from you, you've just got people like her manager who's just a guy. Yeah, sometimes in this business, you know, you want you surround yourself, unfortunately, with people that just say yes. Right. And in the end, this is what you end up with. Had do you see a documentary about Bruce Willis yeah. going around? Even the last film he did, people, an actor on there was like, I am not doing any more movies with Bruce Willis because I feel uncomfortable yeah. doing this. Right. Now, Wendy Williams signed off on this two years ago. We don't know if she was in her right mind when she signed right. off on How it. How coherent she was does she? does not look like it in this video, just from the clips that we saw. But it's what happens when you surround yourself. I, I feel like Britney on. Spears is headed down this same road. Everyone wants to support her and support her so, online yeah, and pat her on the back. The decisions she's mean. making aren't in sound right. mind in my decision. It reminds me. My, yeah, my family just would never, I'm no, never no, not close to this, show, but right. my family and the friends we'll I surrounded you. myself with would say, you are not putting these cameras on him right now. He is not in it. And they don't know anything about the business just because they love me and they're friends with me. That's Well, all. here's some more context. First of all, I agree with you. That is incredibly hard to watch. Her eyes, by the way, doing that are Graves' right. disease. So I yes. want to make that very clear. But uh, this is what some fans are saying. She can't consent to being on camera like this. It feels exploitative. This should never have aired. It's disgusting that they captured this lady's most vulnerable moment like this. So let me just explain. In 2022, she signed off on this documentary. The Guardians, the same year Wells Fargo said she was an incapacitated person. Now you tell me how she can be an incapacitated person and also sign that legal document giving the rights to all that in the same year. And we saw her falling down and not looking great. It was obvious to me, right? So what I'm saying is the Guardians that have been put in control have sued, trying to cease and desist this. That should have been done. Shame on my This time. is exactly Shame right. Shame on the people that green Exactly this right. Because this it is reminds outrage. me of Whitney and Bobby when they had their docu-series right. and they both clearly that were. That was a television series. It was, you know, yeah. and it, what I don't like about it is, you know, alcoholism, 
addiction is a disease and no one is going to see that as a disease. They're going to pity her, they're going to shame her instead of saying, wow, the people around her aren't protecting her and she should be in treatment. Yeah. And it's just, it's unfortunate and my heart absolutely breaks for her. I her mean, family can't get in touch with her. They're trying very hard, but they can't reach out. And the karma out. acts better. I don't like either. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, this is a woman who needs some help, yeah.